Well, welcome back to Mr. Obsolete's Finnish Homesteading Channel. Today we'll mark our one year anniversary, so I wish to thank all the subscribers, people who are watching. We're going to be doing a day in the life of Mr. Obsolete. It'd be kind of a compendium of things that I do on a normal day for the first video for our second year. And we're going to be doing a lot of chainsaw and tree work this year because we've got a lot of damaged and distressed trees from the storms we've had. So. Stay tuned. Today it's going to be a day in the life of Mr. Obsolete. So it's going to be chores, jobs, and inspections. So what we've been doing, uh, the trees and stuff are just starting to get little buds on them. So spring is just about here, although we've had freezes every night for weeks and uh, hard freezes too. So first thing we're going to do is look at our garden beds here, so we'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're at uh, one of our raised garden beds, we're going to do a couple of things here. We've had a lot of bad windstorms and stuff, and it's been blowing all these fir needles in here and stuff, and they're kind of acidic and they're not really good for the soil for planting, so I'm just going to rake this up like so, and get rid of it. Then the other thing, you can see we got moss growing on here, so I take a little shovel and scrape this off. Then when I know I'm going to have some time where there's no rain for a few days, I'll take some water and bleach solution and wipe it down. It'll kill the moss and it won't come back for a while. These onions in here are volunteers from last year. It didn't come up, so the frosts haven't killed them yet. But so they'll probably be fine, but what we're going to do is, once we get all the needles and stuff, we're going to till the soil up slightly, put in some mulch and some nutrients and stuff in it, and be ready to plant here in about a month. So next we'll come over here to our garlic. So Okay, this is our garlic here. We planted these in late November because the warm weather lasted longer than usual. And when I planted these in the past, I put them down about two and a half inches. That last year, I put them down to four and a half inches, and they're coming up. And for the most part, they're doing really good. Some of them have a little frost damage on the tips here, but they'll survive just fine. And got to do a little bit of weeding. Here's the weeds that I took out of the other garden boxes. What I do with these, I don't put them in the compost because they're pretty hardy and they'll try to grow in it. So what I do is I put these in a bucket, let them dry thoroughly, and then when I'm burning stumps and things like that, I just throw it in and burn them up. So there again, we got all these needles and little bits of branches and stuff like that, and there again, it's acidic. So we need to clean this stuff up, get rid of it, so that the garlics can grow up real nice and stuff. We had a really nice crop last year. But, yeah, that's quite a bit of stuff there, debris. So anyway, we'll move on to some other projects here. Well, we're back to get some more firewood. I cut these up the other day in between rainstorms. And it's amazing. I think I've cut five logs, including this one. We have this pile of sawdust, one behind me you can't see, and a couple of sacks of it back there. It's over 60 pounds of sawdust. And uh, we'll show you what we do with that in the upcoming video. Anyway, we'll get loaded up here using our vintage tongs. Set it on there. Quick snap. Sets the hook. Okay, well, we'll be back when we're loaded up. Well, I just want to talk briefly about our little trailer here. I inherited this from my friend's estate. It serves craftsmen and stuff. You see it carries a big heavy load. These weigh probably 60 pounds a piece. Nice thing is it has these tires that you can never have to air up. They're called run flat. And uh, works really good. Of course, the 60 garden marks out here working as usual. 
So we'll see over the processing area. Well, we're back. Get some firewood to split here. Axe we're going to use today is the axe I've had for a long time but have never used. When I got it, it was just a head. It was pitted pretty good. Cleaned up pretty nice. Got really nice steel in it. I put a new handle on it. It's got this nice patina in the handle here. That's because I had it underneath a chainsaw leaking over bar oil over the winter on it. So it's halfway there, so I'll have to finish it up with some linseed oil. But this thing is a really super cutter. I'm going to do a video on this not before too long. So it'll be Vintage X review number five. But I'll show you how nice it cuts through this stuff. All the way through. One chop, it's not even that hard to chop. Got to hang on to them. You can see it's very efficient. That's one of the best cutting axes I've ever seen. You can see how nice that cuts through there. See we do a one-handed cut here. Just like that. Really great stuff. Okay, well Mr. Cheapskate here. So there again we'll use our fantastic food sack here that I modified for carrying the wood. Been using this for about a year and as long as you don't overload it and put anything with sharp edges in it, it really works good. And I could have spent like 75 to 150 bucks to buy a nice high quality handmade one, but since I'm cheap, this gets good, good use. There we go. Well, we're back for another little job here. Get the stump, and this tree blew over recently. It's in our prior video. So, we're going to see if this little tractor can pull it out. Most of the roots are broken off, so we'll start up the tractor and give it a shot. Just like that. Little cubby to the rescue. Got one more chore, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, this is the last chore we had for today. We had a lot of branches blow down from the storms, wind storms, and then a branch that tree that blew over too, so we get all this stuff here. So we're gonna do a video on this, so it'll be a surprise. You have to hang on and watch our videos to see what we're gonna do with it. So anyway, there's a day in the life of Mr. Obsolete. So we'll see you on our next exciting video. Vintage is best. See you soon.